Hi, welcome to the Almond Products tutorial series. My name is Jeff Cohen. I'm an Almond Engineering Technician. Today I'm going to go over the operation of the setup, start, and shutdown of your units. Today I'm going to be covering the NLGR Chain Series Light Tower. For step one, you're going to transport your light tower to the work site. Properly and safely position the light tower trailer on a solid level surface. Do not set up the light tower trailer on an incline more than 5%. Do not set up the light tower on unlevel or unstable ground. Check site for overhead obstructions such as power lines and trees. Keep in mind the maximum height of the light tower when fully raised. Step two, deploy the tongue jack. Remove the jack locking pin, rotate the tongue jack into the operating position, and install the jack locking pin fully through the top and bottom holes in the jack and tongue. Unfold the crank handle, turn the jack handle clockwise to lower the jack foot, and raise the front of the light tower trailer. Step three, put wheel chocks against the front and rear of each wheel. Step four, deploy the outriggers the unit has left and right outriggers at the rear of the machine. Pull the outrigger locking pin. Move the outrigger out until the pins lock the outrigger in the operating position. Remove the stabilizer jack locking pin. Turn the jack into the operating position. And install the stabilizer jack locking pin fully through the top and bottom holes in the jack and outrigger. Unfold the handle of the stabilizer jack, then turn clockwise to lower the jack firmly planted onto the work site surface. Repeat for opposite outrigger and stabilizer jack. Step 5. Make the light tower trailer level front to back and side to side using the jacks. Step 6. Rotating the light tower. First, loosen the light tower rotation locking knob. Use the handles to rotate the light tower in the desired direction. Tighten the light tower locking knob. Step seven, adjust each fixture to the desired position. To adjust left and right, move the fixture yoke. To adjust up and down, loosen the locking knob, adjust the fixture, then tighten the locking knob. Step eight, open the control box cover. Step nine, determine the mode of operation, standalone or daisy chained. For standalone operation, a single NLGR series chain unit can be powered from an external power source. NLGR liquid cool 6KW for instance, using either the NEMA 5-15P inlet or NEMA L5 20P inlet. Use an appropriately sized power cord as noted in the following table. Route the cord through the access hole. Use the selector switch located between the inlets to select either the 5-15P or the L5 20P inlet. Make sure that the circuit breaker for the power inlet is in the on position. For chained operation, two NLGR series chain units can be powered by an external single power source, for instance, the 6KW NLGR liquid cool. The first unit must use the NEMA L520P inlet to connect to the power source. The second unit must use the NEMA 515P inlet to connect to the first unit's 515R outlet. Use an appropriately sized power cord for both units. Route the cord through the access hole. The inlet selector switch must be switched to the L520P inlet on the first unit and the 515P inlet on the second unit. Make sure the circuit breaker for the power inlet is on the on position. Step 10, turning the lights on. The tower lights can be controlled manually by photocell or by timer. For manual operation, turn the photocell timer switch to the timer position. Push the manual button on the timer module until the black bar in the display window is positioned above on. Turn the individual light switches 1 through 4 to the on positions. For photocell operation, turn the photocell timer switch to photocell position. The lights will automatically come on in the absence of ambient light. Note. For most consistent operation, avoid locating the unit in a shadowed area and orient the unit so the control box faces north. Turn the individual light switches 1 through 4 to the on position. For timer operation, refer to the night light chain operator manual for complete instruction. Step 11. Raising and lowering the light tower. Turn the winch handles until the tower is fully raised. Do not overturn the handles. Step 12. Close the control box cover. Step 13. The light tower is now in operation for the worksite. For more information on your Nightlight GR Series chain unit, 
Scan the QR code in the control box to access the product operations web page on the Almond website. For the NLGR chain series shutdown, you're going to first open the engine compartment cover. Step two, for manual operation, push the button twice to move the black bar above off to turn the lights off. Turn the individual light switches one through four to the off position. For photocell operation, the lights will automatically shut off in the presence of ambient light. Step three, wait 10 minutes for the lights to cool. Step four, lower the light tower. Turn the winch handles until the tower is fully lowered. Do not overturn the handles. Step five, rotate the light tower to the transport position. Loosen the light tower rotation locking knob. Use the handles to rotate the light tower in the transport position and tighten the light tower locking knob. Step six, adjust the light fixtures to the transport position. Turn the light fixtures to the rear of the unit. Step seven, remove any electrical cords from the outlets and store cords away properly. Place cords in toolbox for storage if desired. Step eight, make sure the control box cover is closed and latched. Step nine, retract the outriggers. Fully lift the stabilizer jack foot by turning the jack handle counterclockwise. Fold the handle, remove the stabilizer jack locking pin, turn the jack into the transport position, and install the stabilizer jack locking pin fully through the top and bottom holes of the jack and outrigger. Pull the outrigger locking pin and move the outrigger in until the pin locks the outrigger into the transport position. Do the same for the other stabilizer jack and outrigger. The unit is now ready for transport.